Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Joe coming at you with the reading. Sagittarius is going to be one of their true intentions in love. This is between you and your person, and I'm um, sending out your oracle cards now. I have placed your tarot cards here, just took a look, kind of like a brief look at them here. And uh, we're going to use the Mystic Charmer today, because we're charmers over here, you guys. Yeah, we are. We're snake charmers, okay? I shouldn't be making a joke about that, because uh, I feel like in the past that was like a real part of culture, right? Which, you know, we saw that when we were kids, we're like, like in cartoons, right? It's really interesting, right? Uh, it, it was, right? Of course. Uh, but, you know, cartoons sometimes tend to uh, kind of just kind of, you know, kind of poke fun sometimes. Uh, so I don't really want to do that. I feel like it's really interesting. I just kind of... Snake Charmer does have to do with kind of intuition, though, for sure. And uh, if somebody wants to ever, you know, kind of put down in the comments really what it's about, that would be great. And a Sagittarius, let's see, let's get some more Oracle cards for you and your person, but we have Answering the Call. Answer the phone, Sagittarius, all right? Stop keeping it on silent, all right? So how are you going to answer the phone, right? So somebody's going to call you here. This is the first time I've ever got this card. This is the Native uh, Spirit deck here. This is Denise Lynn's deck, and she's a Native Cherokee. And this is what I'm talking about, about culture. It's really very, uh, very rich, even though they want, you know, they want open borders and one world government. I don't know if you guys realize that, but that's why the border is open right now. Uh, that's what this uh, regime is trying to uh, accomplish here. But we're not going to discuss that so much. But this, uh, no, the answering of the call right here is, you know, uh, you need to answer the call. I forgot how we got into that, but yeah, you need to answer the call, Sagittarius, all right? Okay, let's see what else we have. Pay attention to what's going on here. We have complicated, something's complicated here. Maybe somebody's going to call you and tell you something complicated, all right? I mean, you can be complicated, Sagittarius. Yeah. I and mean, I was reading that one time that Sagittarians are complicated, and I feel like we are, unfortunately. Okay? I always have nice things to say. Uh, not always, because, you know, everybody has kind of yin and yang, or, you know, good and bad, and pros and cons. Yeah, they do. Nobody's perfect. Uh, no, nobody is perfect in this whole damn world. That's what my mom used to say. She goes, what? Yeah. So let's see. Like, stop playing the martyr, things like that. And the forbidden card. Wow. So something is forbidden here too. Or maybe was forbidden. We're going to put these cards in the order that they are in. Yeah, we're going to have some structure here. Let's get, uh, let's get another card for Sagittarius and their person. OMG Sagittarius. You think you're stirring up trouble here with this forbidden card, all right? <laughs> and we have... M Empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Somebody here, uh, maybe this is your person, but somebody is absorbing what is not theirs. This is what my daughter does. She's a Pisces, and she is an empath. I told her, you got to try not to do that. You can't carry everybody's cross. You can't bear everybody's cross. Yeah, it's a horrible thing. Right? For me it is, but... Because it's really hard to focus on your own, and everybody has their own kind of plight in their life, whether or not they either want to admit it, or everybody has, like, challenges. Maybe it's not as deep as plight, but, uh, you know, you have your own stuff to deal with, is my whole point, right? Yeah, so let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and their person, and let's use these other cards here. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius and their person. We have the card of practical intuition. Somebody could be practicing this. Practical intuition. That's what this lady is doing here. She's, you know, uh, the rabbit is there, which is about fertility and bringing in kind of new, you know, new beginnings and prosperity and things like that. The moon is there. She's doing something with the water and these flowers. Maybe they are herbs too. And she's getting something done because the water is kind of going around like that and, is, you know, like spinning. And, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a stagnant, it's just a little body of water here. So, Usually when you have such a small body of water, the water is not uh, circling like that. No, it's not. There's not enough water. It needs more water, more weight, more density to, you know, turn or do something. Yeah, it does. So let's see what else we have for Sagittarius and their person. Clarity. Yeah, somebody's getting some major clarity here. Maybe they're calling you here. Finally, maybe you're calling somebody Sagittarius, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, but whatever it is, I feel like it is forbidden and 
complicated, complicado, Sagittarius. You're always complicated. Let's get one more card here. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. And we have the card of the Tower, OMG. This tower in this uh, particular deck here is a new beginning. Like, you know, Rome is collapsing, but there's a new beginning. Yeah. I shouldn't say Rome. This is actually, you know, this, uh, no, I shouldn't say that. But we have, uh, I only said that because, you know, Rome is such a big part of history. But the Eye of Horus is here, and this was, this is, uh, Horus was a god for the Egyptians. I feel like he was a king, but, uh, you know, this is about protection and a new beginning. Interesting here. I feel like there's a new beginning, but something is coming down at the same time. And the bottom of the deck over here is the Eight of Swords. And this Eight of Swords is about two people who are not paying attention to each other, but they are like in a union. That's for in this particular deck. And the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. And we have Justice. And the Lovers. Interesting here. This Four of Cups in this particular deck, let's have a look at that Four of Cups, uh, which is there at the bottom of the deck. We, we already know the bottom of the deck is highly indicative of what's going on. A young man beside a lotus flower. So we know lotus flowers are all about intuition. Yes, we do. I feel like they're also about protection. But let's see, meaning, exuberance, uncertain feelings, weariness. Yeah, I feel like there are uncertain feelings here. Yeah, with this particular, mm-hmm. can talk about decaying joy. Uh, you know, this could be, I just feel like something is, uh, there's two situations here. Like, there's forbidden, there's forbidden energy here. This is, like, third-party energy, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is also insight in this deck. And that's what the man is, Right? He's sitting here, like you can tell by his body language, this is like this is all about somebody who is in their thoughts and things like that, right? I feel like it has to do with a lover and justice. Uh, and we have the lovers right here. And these two people are really in love with each other. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is the person who is calling you, Sagittarius. Somebody's calling somebody. And this answering the call card doesn't always have to talk about answering the actual phone, right? Hitting, yeah, it talks about... Uh, like, kind of being up for a new adventure with somebody, right? Answering the call, like, are you gonna do this? Are you gonna Are you gonna take this? And are you gonna? This is like a calling, or an expansion. Are you gonna Are you gonna like respond to this call? Which I feel like is a new beginning in love with somebody here. I feel like this has been complicated. Maybe your person here, Sagittarius, maybe it's you, but somebody's coming. This is forbidden because there's uh, more than two people here. Somebody could be in a situation where they were feeling somebody's energy and it's not good energy, right, with this empathic star seed. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius and their person. In the recent past, you had the High Priestess. This could be Pisces or Scorpio. This could be all, you are totally in your intuition here about an ending, the death card, and the five of wands. So this is really interesting. The fives are about uh, changes here, and the moon is above, and, you know, this is about changes and new cycles. I feel like in the past you felt challenged, Sagittarius, about an ending. Maybe you wanted somebody to end something. Maybe it's forbidden, and you are, like, you wanted, uh, like, an expansion with somebody which for me is a, like a new beginning. I feel like you were waiting. And this could be literally waiting for the call as well, waiting to answer the phone. Just make sure you do it, okay, Sagittarius? You look like you're doing it, answering the call. And maybe it's not even a phone call. Maybe you are getting back together with somebody and you are answering the call, so to speak. Let's see your current energy. So you have the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords. Your energy here is about change. And currently you have temperance in the reverse. You're showing up in the reverse, Sagittarius, in your own energy right now. Queen of Wands, this is you. This is upright. This is good. The Knight of Pentacles. This is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. In your desire here, Sagittarius, is the King of Pentacles. So some of you guys want an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You might be in despair here about somebody. You could be waiting for them to call you, Sagittarius. 
or waiting for them to expand a union with you or, you know, start a new union, something like that. And the answering the call was right next to the tower. And I took these cards, I put them in the order that they came. This was, right, uh, I feel like I did. Regardless, it's next to the answering the call card. And what I mean by when these are together, this could be, you know, indicative, right? Mm -hmm. Like this has meaning here. I just feel like something is coming to an end. And we have the death card here for you, Sagittarius. So I feel like you felt challenged in the recent past about an ending. Maybe because of a Pisces. Maybe that is your person. These could be the players in the reading. Pisces in an earth sign. Could be another fire sign. Uh, the queen of wands is right here. And the fool and the sun card are here. And even Aquarius is showing here, right? The star card in the challenge. Uh, but I feel like this is more of a healing of something that was forbidden. And the Empress is in your person's recent past energy. And this Empress is, you know, uh, typically, <clears throat> like, it can be in this reading when we see this forbidden card, it is a third party. It's like a third party passionate person. Yeah, sex, sensual, sexual. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is exciting. Somebody who is maybe, you know, kind of abundant on their own right. And <clears throat> let's see, let's get one more card for Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. The Eight of Cups. So I feel like you are challenged here. You want somebody to leave somebody, or you want to leave somebody Eight of Cups. Because in the past, uh, you felt challenged here. Five of Wands about this person. I feel like you wanted them to end it. And right here, you are in despair, possibly. Wow. I feel like what this what this reading is about for some of you guys is is somebody coming. Are they, you know, are they coming forward? And even if you are seeing them, maybe it is coming to, uh, coming like moving to a higher stage or not a higher stage, but uh like, you know, moving to the next step here and answering the call is going to be important. Like being up for it. Right? Up to the call. And the star card is what you are, uh, maybe you are really actually leaving somebody, but I feel like you are in despair here about somebody here. You could be maybe even at a crossroads about walking away from this person. It's a possibility, but I feel like you're Sagittarius. You could be dealing with somebody who's married here or possibly with this forbidden card and it's complicated right next door. Your challenge is the star card and the six of wands. You look like you want victory and you want to heal a situation with somebody. Or you want success. This person is like inspiring you here. Yeah, they are. They inspire you on some level, right? Like exciting. Page of Pentacles. This is your challenge. This is something new here. And you want victory with it. It's possible you want to overcome a situation that you've already been in that has been really complicated for you. And your desire is this King of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. For me, I mean, nobody wants, like, this ending, the defeat, the Eight of Cups. I feel like you want somebody to leave somebody. Yeah, you do, Sagittarius. The other day somebody said I was a marriage, uh, what do you call it, a marriage wrecker. I'm like, okay, for sure. Yeah, it's a little on me. <laughs> No, I would always recommend somebody try as best I can if they're married to somebody. But <clears throat> there's some things you can't stop, right? No. It looks like you want somebody to end something, an earth sign possibly. And uh, the three of pentacles, it looks like you want an ending and you want like to work things out with somebody. And this is... Excuse me. You could want an end to a third party here. Like, would you, would you please would you just kind of leave them and, you know, because the forbidden card is, is suggesting right here, there's third party energy, right? For sure. And the complicated card, your fear or your doubt is the fool and the four of cups. <clears throat> So I feel like you are doubting somebody's going to have the courage here to come forward, possibly. 
right? Maybe you're doubting they're going to leave, like they're going to kind of reject somebody else. I feel like you, maybe you feel unhappy here and you're doubting they're going to have the courage. But the answering the call, which was the first card here, is uh, is here. They they are. They're they're doing it, Sagittarius. I mean, the reading could be switched. Maybe you are leaving somebody to be with somebody else and you're afraid somebody else, this person you maybe are leaving for, you can heal the situation with them. That could be the case. Maybe you are, like, leaving somebody here and you're kind of uh, fearing here that this person won't have the, the courage to kind of work with you. But it's clear here you want a new beginning with somebody. I'm pretty sure here. And you are, and I feel like it's coming, uh, like soon, answering the call. The Empress is in the recent past for your person. They have the Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. And they have the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, this could be saying your person left somebody out here in the past. Maybe they felt left out. But I feel like they were in love with somebody here. Through Empress, Four of Wands. I feel like it's you. But they could have, you know, with these cards here... These are really nice cards. They're not big images, but they are really kind of cool here. But, you know, your person's energy here, uh, they could have left somebody out to be with you. And I feel like that's what you want. Mm -hmm. So in the past, maybe they left Pisces out. Maybe they are Pisces. OMG, Pisces always showing up in your reading, Sagittarius. And this verse sign. Maybe they're Leo. Maybe there's a Leo involved, the Sun card. Because the King of Wands is their current energy, this could be you. They could be a fire sign as well. They could be leaving a fire sign. Uh, maybe they felt stuck about leaving somebody out, but they look like they already left somebody out in the past. The same energy that you kind of want to happen, yeah. And they have the Two of Wands, so they were at a crossroads in the recent past. Maybe they left somebody out and that put them at a crossroads, right? We can be at a crossroads like, oh shit, it doesn't always mean which way to go. It just means like you are feeling challenged about your, like about your path. You might know the way to go, but you are still challenged about, right, the uh, crossroads can, it just doesn't mean one thing. I feel like you guys are hip to that. The King of Wands is their current energy with the Seven of Pentacles. For me, it's they're thinking all about you and what's going to happen, Sagittarius, with you. Maybe their money is uh, a factor. They have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel like they they could be going through a breakup right here. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past they were at a crossroads about it. They could be breaking up with their person. and Or they are thinking what's going to happen with you if they break up with this person. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're discerning it. The Page of Swords are all in their head about this, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, when the Queen of Swords whips her... Whips her uh, Whips her sword out, right? Mm, she's not always doing it to, you know, <laughs> to make a cut. No, it's like she's doing it because she is discerning the matter and, you know, <clears throat> using her discernment skills, right, where she is analyzing and, you know, what is the best for me, what is the best to do. Their challenge is the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. In their challenge, Sagittarius, they are like, they want a passionate new beginning with you. Pretty sure here. But, you know, in their challenge, uh, there's some type of challenge, and it is uh, another union, I believe it is, but I also believe they have, like, they're not sure about what's going to happen between you two. The magician, this is their challenge. I feel like they want they want to manifest this, definitely. Their challenge, when the, when the magician is in the challenge sometimes, and there's, you know, there's a lot of fives in this reading. The five of swords is here. There could have been some defeat in the past or some sabotage or maybe some manipulation, possibly. And we have the king of cups in their challenge. They Maybe they have to, maybe they are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe they have to kind of leave uh, a water sign.
So they could be in a situation right now with this person where this person is like kind of thinking that they're going to like leave them. Leave them for you. Nine of Wands. So this is their challenge. They've already been through, you know, a lot. The Wounded Warrior, right? Oh, what's going to happen next here? This person is not, they're not entirely sure they can manifest this with you. Yeah, like they have some doubts here. Mm -hmm. And what they want is the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. They're worried here, you see. They want a brand, They want this Two of Cups with you, Sagittarius. They're really in love with you, right? They want this, but they're not sure it's going to happen. They're not sure it's going to manifest. That's why the Magician is in the challenge for them. Let's see what else they want. The Four of Swords. They're hoping they can rec reconcile this, like recover it. Yeah, and they are all in their thoughts here about this. They have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, and their fear is the Sun card with the Wheel of Fortune. For me, they're afraid here. They're not going to have you. They're not going to have happiness. They're not. It's. They're not going to succeed with you. Possibly, they're not going to have success. Let's see what else they are afraid of. And they have the Three of Cups. They're afraid. They're not going to like, yeah, they're not going to reunite with you. And they're not going to like have happiness and joy here. They're like, they're not going to reach this, like this moment of success here. They're calling you, Sagittarius, answering the call. They're going to be calling you here. And uh, the complicated card is next to it. This person has some fear in calling you. Or fear in rectifying this whole situation. Maybe they're already calling you. <clears throat> they could be afraid that you're not going to answer the call to expand with them. Yeah, we're going to go to the extended. We're going to look at the Lenormans. We are, and the Kipper fortune-telling cards are all super affordable. We're going to look at the underlying energy, Sagittarius, how they feel about you, and also uh, how they're seeing the situation. We're going to look at, you know, what they really, really want here, what they hide, what they fear, and their true intentions. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.